just starting off in After Effects and want to learn a few quick animations? Or maybe you just need a quick fix to wow your clients on your next edit. Eh? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you seven, that's right, seven styles of text animation that are proven, simple, effective, and will get the job done. Now, if you're here, I'm gonna assume that you know a little bit about After Effects, sort of the basic layout, how to navigate your way around it, some basic keyframing, and things like that. So, with that said, let's jump in. So the first style here I'm gonna call the peekaboo because uh, I don't know, I wanna want name things that are fun. And essentially we're gonna be using mask to reveal the text. So what you're gonna do is we're actually gonna animate it first. So I'm going to toggle this down or hit P for position to open up the position property here. We're going to go about 10 frames up. You can do that by hitting Command Shift and right arrow. That'll go 10 frames up, or you can just move it up 10 frames, whatever you wanna do. Hit the position keyframe button right here, and then we're gonna go back and then hit it again. Uh, this will set up the keyframe frames from point A to point B, as you probably know, since you are, you know things about keyframes now. And then we're going to just basically have it go down, you know, somewhere in there, and then there we go. It's gonna just kind of move up into nowhere. So with that done, we're going to, we're gonna place our time indicator right here. And then we're gonna go up here and grab the rectangle tool. You wanna to make sure you're not highlighted down here. Go up here, grab the rectangle tool, wherever your tool set might be. You might be on the side somewhere, but mine's up here on top. So I'm gonna have my time uh, line indicator right here on, the, on this one right here. What we're gonna do is actually get the shape tool from up here, the rectangle tool. You can hit Q on here as well, but I like to just pick it. It can be, you might have it on circle, round or whatever. We're just gonna do the rectangle, rectangle's fine. And I'm gonna go right underneath the text, like right here. I might move it up a little bit, but let's just draw it for now. And then, you know, I'm gonna go like right there, right underneath it. And as you can see, the text goes behind this shape layer. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make this shape layer disappear by using track mats. So you can see here, it's it's moving above, it's peekabooing, you know, but now we need to make that mat go away. So what we wanna do is make sure that our track mat um, column is open essentially. And if you don't see it, it's probably because you have it toggled off. So you wanna to toggle this on and make sure, and just make sure it's on. And then what we're gonna do is set our track mat to alpha inverted. If you do alpha mat, you'll see what happens. It actually will track it to the shape itself. So it only appears when the shape is actually there. However you wanna work, you can actually put the shape on top of it if you wanted to. I, put, I happen to put it on uh, uh, on top, uh, underneath it right now. So we're gonna go alpha inverted. And so what that does is basically, anytime it's you know in front of or behind the track, it'll disappear. And once it goes, you know, once it goes away from the, the, the track mat, it'll appear. Now you can see it's behind the shape. You can see my little guys right here. The shape has disappeared because it's now tracking to my text. And then you hit, play and you can see it come up the peekaboo and we can obviously go in here and we can ease these up right click work you can right click and go you know easy ease or hit f9 and it'll make it a little bit smoother so there you have it and you or you can go if you want to go into the into this and smooth it out there as well so that was your first one the peekaboo all right and for style number two i am calling this the whisper so for the whisper we'll be essentially doing the same thing motion wise for the text we're just going to be doing a different style it's nice and easy we're going to open up the position toggle by hitting p position it over and here's a new new little shortcut trick if you hit option arrow or option shift arrow it'll actually move that keyframe over 10 frames so that's option shift arrow move that over 10 frames this is kind of where we want things to land i'm going to go ahead and move it down just a little bit you know right in there somewhere and there we have a the whisper let's go ahead and ease that bad boy by hitting f9 and we give a little bit of an ease i'm not going to get into the graph today but the graph editor is great to make it for making this ease go a little bit better or this is just a sidebar if you have flow on After Effects scripts, which I can leave a link down below, you can actually create some nice, beautiful curves. Hit apply and we have the whisper. See how the thing just kind of just looks nice and yummy right now. So from there, we're gonna actually hit the T button for opacity. And we're gonna, I hit the T button right now just to kind of set the opacity. I'm gonna knock that up five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna knock it down to zero. So it's gonna fade up and also come up. So we have the whisper. So that's essentially what it did. It kind of just 
whispered out of nowhere like the air and we can actually if you hit you you can see all your keyframes we can make this even longer to make it more of a whisper type effect we'll go whisper there we go nice and long and whispery there you go number two the whisper Now you can also take this a step further and separate the two words out like the and whisper and then stagger it a few frames because the, the and whisper I can do that real quick I have this tool called decompose text which I'll also stick in the um, in a link below we can do it by words hit decompose as you can see it separates it out and then uh oh for some reason I still have this thing on the man behind the curtain no track mat no track mat and we'll get rid of that back up there all right so as you can see here, we'll have open the keyframes and then you can stagger this a few frames right here. That's probably about what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that thing's still on, turn that off. There you go, the whisper. There you go. That was style number two, called the whisper. All right, and for our next one, this one is called jitters. Now, I like this approach a lot. It's simple, it's easy, it's fast. Let's, go, let's just jump right into it. We have our text on here. And what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm going to move my cursor over three frames. So if you hit Command and then right arrow, one, two, three, we're gonna be, we're gonna, it's gonna be right there. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut that. So Command Shift D will chop this up. So Command Shift D, or you can duplicate it and do some other stuff. Just, just learn Command Shift D, it's amazing so you can chop things up. So there's that one. We're gonna do it again. One, two, three, Command Shift D as your shortcut. This will chop it, this will cut it, this will cut the layer. And then what we're gonna do is make it jittery because you know, coffee and stuff. So we're going to just increase the size of this one. So hit S and then we're gonna make it huge, right? Then we're gonna go to the next one and we're gonna actually go smaller and just kind of place it kind of randomly. It's kind of a, you gotta kind of play with it and see what works. And it depends on, you know, what video you might be doing on top of. But this is essentially what it looks like. And what I'm actually gonna do is move this over about a frame or two to give it a little leeway. Three, three frames, three frames is always a kind of a nice thing. I'm gonna go, you see that? It was kind of like just a nice little pop on. It kind of just kind of comes out of nowhere. And actually, you know, we can actually reverse this as well and see what that feels like. There it is. Just a nice little jittery. I'd even maybe even go one more for fun. See how that looks. Make it uh, big again. Maybe set it off to the side here a little bit. And then here we have it. We got. So it's like it kind of just like comes out of nowhere, gets big, and then lands. It's a fun. It's really good for like you know if you have like a fast-paced edit or you know a fast-paced you know motion design piece where you need just some really quick cool moves to kind of you know get attention this is like a really fun way to do that and I would even maybe even do this at two frames but you get the idea for the sake of this jitters people now if you're really digging what you're seeing here please hit like and subscribe that'd be awesome I release a video every single week trying to do it a little bit more here and there uh, of ways that you can improve your craft ways that you can improve your career as a motion designer and editor so please hit like and subscribe that'd be awesome all right so the next one is called the landing and for this one, I'm going to switch up this color here because I'm getting tired of looking at this blue. Let's go to a, let's go to like a nice little subtle little, little pinky poo here for fun. All right, there we go. The landing. Let's get into this. So what I'm going to do is actually move this text layer over about mm, 10 frames just to, just to give us a little breathing room. And essentially what we're gonna do is, this is our landing position. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. So we'll go up here and uh, usually I like to do it up here, but that's fine. We're gonna align it, make sure it's in the middle again. I'm gonna go maybe even a little bit smaller because I like things to be nice and clean. So the landing right there, dead center. We got, it's gonna just pop on right here, but it's not gonna just pop on. Uh, so we have a little problem here. You see this little thing right here, this little nugget, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, it's the anchor point. And essentially what you wanna do, we wanna move it to the center or else, you know, when you grow the, the scale, it's gonna do like that. And we don't want that, we want it to come from the middle. So I'm gonna grab this little thing right here. I have it highlighted because I just pressed the short key, which is Y, but it's this little four dot Thing. I'm not even sure what, what it looks like, but hit Y or hit that. Grab this and move it to the middle. Now, if you want to get approximate, hold down Command and it'll actually lock in place. So there you go. Little fun, little mini lesson there on moving an anchor point. All right, let me back back up here. So what we're gonna do is hit the scale key, 
again, and then we're going to move it over 10 frames. That's command shift over 10 frames. Now we're ready to go and scale it up. We're going to scale it up to about right here, which is about, let's just make it 150 to make it uh, you know, an even number. I'd even go maybe a little bit higher. Let me see what 175 looks like. Yeah, 175, let's do 175, that sounds good. So what it's gonna do is basically just boom, and then we don't want that though. See how ugly that was? It was just kinda, you know. All right, so we're gonna actually uh, ease that up a little bit. Let's see what the E, and uh, an actual ease looks like. Hitting F9, it's a little better but I wanna go even further. So if you have flow or we can get into this thing, which we can, let's go ahead and get into the graph editor and I can actually show you what flow does. But here I wanna do is like hold on to this a little bit longer. So we're going to take the graph editor here and just extend it out. Cause what that will do is actually hold this position a little bit longer before it animates down. So it's gonna go, see how it kinda of like holds and then lands we actually want to smooth that out a little bit too this might help hold a little bit too long what a nice s curve so you can actually do that with flow as well if i hit this button and then hit apply it'll apply that as well you saw if you noticed it move we can also do one that's more like this just kind of shorten it up a little bit just there we go so it has a nice little landing Coming in for a landing. And then we can actually, oh, actually, I can, you, we can mess with this all day long, but you get the idea. Boom. So we kind of, it kind of starts off in front and then, you know, lands. That's what it looks like here. And landing. So the next approach is called the thing. You can see the thing right here. This is the thing. I'm thinking of like old movies, like from like the 50s, you know, like the blob, the thing. Uh, that's basically what this is an ode to, because we're gonna grow from zero to 100. Pretty easy stuff, but let's mess with the scale properties here. Scale, command, shift, over. You're gonna keep framing that, 10, 10 frames over. Go to zero, 10 frames is always a good starting point. Zero, so we're going from zero to 100. And we can even ease that bad boy by hitting F9. Always like, you always throw an ease on most things here. F9. The thing. There we have it. The thing grows from nothing. And you can do that. Like say, if you want to stagger it, stagger it, stagger it, and have like a few different things, it's great to go from boop, 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 boop. You know, I can make all kinds of noises all day. I'm very good at teaching things because I just make noises instead of explaining it with my words. All right, this is the thing part two, because we're gonna take what we just did just now and just give it a little bit more of a growing thing, <laughs> a growing feeling. So I'm gonna actually gonna to toggle this down and we're gonna to go to text, see this little text properties right here, text, and we're actually gonna go hit this button right here, animate, tracking, easy stuff. I know it's kind of a little bit more advanced if you're not used to the text properties and then it's text, animate and then tracking hit that this little thing is going to come down and what we're going to do is start here let me get this out of the way to clean this up a little bit so we're going to keyframe the track amount this is at zero right now and then we're just going to go into the future let's say this thing's going to be up for five seconds we want it to track for the entire time so we're gonna oh boy there it goes again so one thing you want to make sure is that you know when you are tracking from the center is that it's you know center text uh, i still mess with my anchor point a little bit which is very just kind of just just one of the things you got to juggle in after effects you get used to it after a while and it kind of it'll come naturally so we have the thing starting here is from the center and then we're going to track it there it is at zero and we're going to go all the way into space at five because this is a five second text animation and we're going to just track it into how we see fit. Something like that. What is that? 25? Sounds good. But essentially what it does is like it grows and then it keeps growing, baby. Pretty good stuff. We can even ease that as well to keep it going. So that's how you track and grow, grow and track actually some text. We'll just keep it going here one more time because it looks pretty neat. Ding. All right, next up we have the come from nowhere and it is suiting, or suiting, suiting, suited, 
whatever. It's it's befitting. It's befitting because the text comes from nowhere. Let's check it out. So we're going to go down here and see this text right here, come from nowhere. We're actually going to make it come from nowhere. So hit the P for position. We're going to hit option P to create a keyframe and then we're going to move it 10 frames forward. That is option shift over. As you can see, there are a lot, there are a number of keyframe or a number of shortcuts here that I use consistently on my keyboard. And once you learn them, it makes your life so much easier. I suggest you learn them. Perhaps, you know, leave a comment below if you want me to make another video that just gives you all the top uh, shortcuts that you could possibly ever use in After Effects on the regular to help you save time. Happy to make a video about that. Just let me know. We're here. We're going to go ahead and just take this off screen and it's going to come from nowhere. Come from nowhere, baby. Oh, actually it looks like my, uh, my position key is off a little bit here. So let me make sure this is the same 204, 364. We want it to be 364. Make sure that all lines up so it's pretty. And then come from nowhere. So eventually, event, basically it just came from nowhere. Like you can do this from, you know, the top of your screen as well. We'll just do that for fun. You can go up here and then, you know, make sure it's aligned. I'm just gonna do it down and dirty right now. Come from nowhere, we can do it you know, from below, and you can do it per word, have one word come over here, one over here, it's the come from nowhere. I use it all the time. From here, I like doing things up. We also we want to ease this up a little bit as well to soften the landing. Come from nowhere. Ah, there you have it. And then you could also get yourself to decompose text and do it by word. You can do all these by word, I prefer that. Or you can do it by character as well, which is really nice. You can do it by line. This is a very nice little tool and it's free. So I suggest you get it because it is awesome. Hit U to see all your uh, keyframes. And then I'm gonna just knock want, knock it down about four, eight on that one. Cause they're, you know, four keyframes apart and then come from nowhere. It has a nice little bouncy effect to it, which is really sweet, really nice. It's good stuff, come from nowhere. And for a bonus, check out this video right up here. And let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful and which one you're gonna be using on your next project.